Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Shout out to, to people that's giving me some love here. Um, Marat Okan, Sing, Sigmund Lee, Torek Laquart, James Polarisio. I'm um, sorry if I'm butchering your names, but thank you for the love and thank you for the beer. Um, much, much appreciated. I'm going to be talking about balls today. Tennis balls, to be exact. Because I've talked about other balls before, and everybody's loved it. The blue ones especially. All right, but I'm talking about tennis balls today. And I've gotten so many comments. I've gotten people have messaged me uh, via Instagram and email saying, I need your help. What is the best balls out there? I mean, people are fighting over this, saying, oh no, the marathons are the best. And the other guy's going, oh no, the US Open is the best. And I'm like, well, it's personal preference, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of insight on the, the top balls here that I have today. All right, so hold tight. So let's start with the most common ball in the world the most popular ball in the United States. Um, most people know this ball. It's called the Penn Championship tennis ball. So most balls that people play with will look like this in this can. You can buy them in singles, you can buy them in multi-packs, you can buy them at Costco. Are these balls good? I mean, they're fine, they're tennis balls. Now, here's the trick though. When you go out to a tournament and you see them cracking open a can that looks just like this at an ATP tournament, because I've seen it done. They're like cracking these cans open and I'm like, oh, they're using the Costco balls, All right? No, they are not. So from an inside source, I know that those are not Costco balls. They are the highest quality, highest grade balls you can get. They specially manufacture those for the tour. So although they package them like this, they're not the same ball. They're a way higher quality ball. So in, in today's world, these are fine. I mean, I've been playing with these for man, all my life right everybody has um, either these or the wilson champs which you know used to cost a dollar 99 right i mean they're what 2.99 or less now when they're on sale at costco they're still about two a dollar 99 so you know they're fine there, there's nothing wrong with these balls to me after warm-up i can get a set out of this and then i feel the difference like doesn't quite bounce the same so so warm up you know 15 20 minutes a set let's say 30 minutes so 45 minutes 45 minutes to play that's how much this in my opinion lasts now staying with the pen family here the extra duty pro pen marathon right this is a higher quality ball this is more kind of in line with, you know, like a tour ball, like an ATP ball. It lasts a little longer. Uh, it feels like it's juiced up a little more. Uh, the rubber seems to be a little more durable. The felt seems to be a little more, well, they call it extra duty, right? So there's more of it, um, harder to whack off. So all those components make it last longer. So in my opinion, you can get warm up and two sets out of this. Once you get in that third set, that's it. I think it drops off. Uh, so that's why in league play, USTA play, if you go into a third set, right, you have the option of changing your balls to a new can of balls, right? Because I think they know something too, right? Whether you're using these or something else, that third set changes the balls. I mean, they've been sitting out there being whacked around for hour and a half to two hours. It changes. 
But let's talk about the official, the new official ATP ball now, which is now made by Dunlop. Those of you who know that ATP ball from Penn, which used to come in a kind of a gold can, this is the new official ball now of the men's tour, ATP. They, Penn still makes that ball, but they can't call it ATP. It's called the tour ball now, Penn tour ball. Um, essentially the same guidelines and uh, features as this ball. So high grade ball, kind of in line with this one. Um, kind of almost there, almost. Not quite as good as this, but almost there. I like this ball. Everybody seems to um, like this ball as soon as it came out, maybe six to eight months ago. Now the Australian Open ball, which is supposedly the official ball of the Aussie Open, um, is a good ball. I would say it's in line with this ball. These two are very, very similar. Same weight, same bounce, same durability, um, same price. So these two are very good, very similar. Um, my personal favorite ball is the Wilson US Open. Right. I just feel like, I don't know, to me it feels like it's a little lighter. Um, doesn't have that 15 minute break in time that like this one has. You know, it starts off with a pretty consistent bounce, kind of just gets more predictable and um, I don't want to say easy, but I kind of like it because it bounces to where I like, whereas these are like bullets in the, in the first 15 minutes. Uh, so it's it's just kind of what I like and what I'm used to. It also feels like it's a little softer in my arm. So, I mean, so my opinion, these are the best balls. For those of you who are, um, you know, arguing and competing, saying which are the best balls, this is just my opinion. Like, if you ask 10 different people, they might give you 10 different answers. So, um but that's, this is my favorite. The Technofiber X1 ball right here. The guy who sells me these things said, this is the best ball you can ever have or play with. This is a pro level ball were his exact words. They're very, very consistent, has 73% better felt than anybody else out there. Um, long lasting felt and maintains ball speed. So you get a very consistent bounce, longer lasting bounce, and the fuzz doesn't get knocked off so easily with this ball. I've tried these about five times, and it's actually very, very good. Like I can get my warm up to two sets and probably beyond with this one. So I would suggest if you see anybody selling these, to yeah, try one, try one. These probably aren't cheap. I think they're running about $6 a can, uh, but you do get the four balls. Um, and it's a metal can. All right, so that's a Technofiber X1 ball. The ball that's actually very similar to it is the Fed ball, made by Wilson. Again, a four ball can, regular duty, all court ball, just like that X1 ball. So you can take this ball and that X1 ball to any surface, not only hard, but you can do clay, grass, hard true, you know, whatever, concrete, parking lot, whatever you want to do. You can take this ball out there, play with it in your carpet. It's all quartz, right? No, the, but this is a good ball. I've used this ball for, man, three, four years already. This ball has been out, um, yeah, that long. So. Great consistent ball. I would say it's a little softer than, let's say this one, just a little, not much though, but very consistent playing ball. Um, I feel like warm up two sets, I chuck these. These, these are good for that and that's about it. Um, the special thing about these balls, every can has a special message from Roger to you personally. Thank you for your contribution to my balls, Roger says. And there's a little cute little letter personally to you for thanking you for that. So try these out though. These are good, good balls. Okay. Now, the final ball 
balls in this this uh, review. Uh, again, I'm going to talk about this Trinity ball. So the truth about this Trinity ball is, I did a review on it, and I will tag it down below. Um, they are good, but but there's two things wrong with them. Um, I don't like them the first 30 minutes to an hour because they feel kind of hard. Like I can't hit through the ball. I can't hit past people with this ball because it just feels solid and I get no ball speed from them. So it's kind of like I've, I'm playing with a, um, a ball that's been in the hopper or been in my bag for like a week or a month. Um, but the weird thing is after that hour, it, it kind of softens up and then it acts like a regular ball. But it takes that one hour of use before you kind of like it. Um, but after that, after that, it feels fine and it feels good. I've had people test these out for up to six times, like six, let's say 10 sets, uh, 12 sets, and they're fine. They actually play well, very consistent, very much like you know, let's say one of these, right? Throughout those 10 to 12 hours. Uh, the only thing is it's starting to lose the felt now because, you know, over time you just start whacking the felt off. Um, but it, even with the felt off, we tested the bounce and it's still consistent. Um, the other problem with these balls, and I've done it maybe six times already when I use them, is I'm so used to chucking my balls after I'm done, that's what I do with these. So I'm used to yeah taking my balls and, oh, I'm done with my match today, right? And I was like, I walk away, get in the car. Oh, shoot, I'm supposed to keep those balls. Four times more than, last four times more than these balls. And we actually, like me, we have to remember to hold on to these balls. Okay, don't chuck them, don't chuck them. I'm gonna let you in on a little trade secret here. There are only three, three, right? Plants that produce tennis balls in the world, okay? Dunlop is made in the Philippines. So if you ever see a Dunlop ball, it's made in the Philippines. Salamat, okay? Salamat, thank you for making these balls. Pens are made in China. Xi Xi Ni. Okay? Thank you for making pen balls in China. But that's where pens are made. And the final manufacturing company is in Thailand, in which Wilsons are made. But check this out. Not only Wilson, but Technofiber is made there. Those Yonex balls that you see sometimes made in Thailand. Those decathlon balls that you have in those decathlon stores, made in Thailand, right? So I'm guessing that might be the biggest manufacturer in the world for tennis balls because these two are pretty exclusive. That Thailand manufacturing plant makes, I feel like everybody else's balls, right? So shout out to Thailand. Cobra Ka, thank you for making these balls um, for pretty much everybody else besides Penn and Dunlop. Who wins today? I don't know, you still decide, all right? Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.